Namaste to you all and welcome to my YouTube channel guys. Today's message and today's topic is about signs that you are stepping into the fifth dimension. St signs that you are improving your consciousness into a new state and really how to do it, okay? So we are awakening, okay? The planet is going through a massive shift in consciousness and so many individuals are going through a spiritual awakening. We're essentially entering the age of Aquarius, we're entering the new earth and we are realizing that we can receive light codes and dna upgrades from the cosmos okay so the the cosmos is expanding at an infinite level okay it means that we as part of the cosmos we're also stepping into our spiritual evolutionary process and again so many individuals are awakening into a new state and today's message is for those who are resonating with it, it because you may be one of them okay so the first sign that you are stepping into the fifth dimension is you feel lighter, okay? You feel lighter. You have a deeper connection with your energetic field, okay? You realize that your energy is so important. You realize that your energy actually attracts your reality, okay? So your energy attracts things into your life. And you realize that when you gain your spiritual maturity and when you are stepping into a higher density and into a smoother state, you gotta take care of your energy. So the first sign is the fact that you feel lighter and that is such positive thing that is such a positive thing because you know when you are stepping into a higher density it feels like you can begin to manifest whatever you want to manifest okay it feels like you are cooperating with life in a in a smoother way and you realize that again your energy is so important so many of us we don't take care of our energy and we are throwing it uh so much on the outside we are losing our power but when we are stepping into a higher state of consciousness we realize that so many of the things that we are seeking on the outside are already found within our energetic field okay so the second tip is you feel like you want to leave your ego behind or no you feel like you want to integrate your ego in such a way that it no longer is your master but more likely your servant okay so the ego can be healthy sometimes but when you are only operating from the ego and when you are only operating from separation that is a lower state of consciousness to be into but when you are accepting yourself unconditionally and when you are stepping into a smoother vibration you realize that you can use your ego in your favor so you now your ego doesn't have to control you but more likely it is your servant okay so in a higher vibrational density, in a higher dimension, we realize that we have a different relationship with life, okay? We have a different relationship with our inner state of consciousness. We have uh, a smoother relationship even with our ego, okay? So the ego is a, po is a good servant but a dangerous master. So my suggestion is integrate your ego, accept your ego, accept yourself unconditionally but don't let the ego be your master okay so it's like when you are entering a smoother vibration it feels like you are feeling lighter it feels like you have a different relationship with life and the third sign would be you now operate from oneness okay you operate from oneness you realize that we're actually one energy one consciousness and I've seen in my own journey that the more that I was trying to harm the other, I was actually doing it onto myself, okay? So when you are entering the fifth dimension, you see, you actually see the oneness in everything. You see the master in everything. You see the spirit in everything. You see the love in everything, okay? We're all one energy, one consciousness. There is no separation okay there is no separation between you and the other there is no separation between you and the outer world okay so we are all one energy one consciousness and when you are entering the fifth dimension it feels like you want to send love into the universe it feels like you want to send a high vibrational vibe into life itself you know so 
separation and the ego and hate are about the third dimensional level of consciousness they are about physical reality but in a smoother density it's all energy it's all vibration it's all frequency and you realize that whatever you are sending out there will actually return back to you so when you are entering a higher vibrational density and a new state of consciousness it feels like you want to send peace love harmony abundance okay it feels like you want want to be at one with the universe. Now the fourth sign that you are stepping into the fifth dimension is you have a different relationship with your soul spiritual mission. Okay, because the fifth dimensional level of consciousness holds the information for your soul mission. Okay, it feels like you want to step into your purpose. It feels like you want to step into that action that feels good. It feels like now you are letting go of the things that are no longer serving you. Okay, so if you are on the spiritual path and if you are ha going through a huge shift in consciousness, if you are having a spiritual awakening, you are getting downloads about your soul mission. Okay, you are getting uh, information about your soul purpose. Okay, so you may have your own unique soul purpose. And when you are entering a higher vibrational state, it feels like you want to be on your purpose. It feels like you want to be on your mission. It feels like you want to help the planet evolve. Okay, so my suggestion is try as much as possible to do the things that you actually love, whether they are spiritual or not. Okay, whether they are spiritual or not, do what you love. That will have the power to increase your DNA structure. That will have the power to attract into your life whatever you want to experience. Okay, so when you are doing what you love, it's like you increase your energy and your vib vibratory field into a new state, into a smoother vibration. Okay, so I see that so many of us, we are not doing what we love. We are stuck in the matrix. But when you are... Mm, awakening into a new state you realize that it's all about your unique self-expression so my suggestion is get to express yourself get to love yourself get to be in alignment with who you really are okay the fifth sign that you may be entering the fifth dimension is you are letting go you are letting go and you are really operating more in the state of beingness okay we're not human doings we're actually human beings and really the fifth dimension holds that peace consciousness okay because when you are at peace it's like you are letting go of the mindset of i have to it's more likely about i do it because i love it okay i don't do it because i have to do it it's more likely i do it because i'm in alignment with who i really am and i love to do it in the process okay so it's not about the mindset of i have to or i must that is low vibration. That is actually a bad vibe. When you are at peace with yourself and when you are in a happy state, you realize that you can actually do things effortlessly. Okay? And the fifth dimensional level of consciousness actually holds that energy, holds that perspective where you are no longer hustling, but more likely you are hustling in a natural way. Okay? So it's like you have a different relationship with life. You have a smoother connection with the outer reality. You can begin to actually co-create the reality that you want to experience, okay? So, yeah, so many individuals, guys, are going through a massive shift in consciousness. And it's a really powerful thing to experience because we need this at a collective level. We need this type of messages. We need this type of actions. We need that connection again. We need to let go of the war, of the hate, of the separation. And really the new earth and the fifth dimensional level of consciousness actually hold that energy, that energy of peace, that energy of high vibrations, that energy where we're actually seeing the other as ourselves, okay? So yeah, these are the five signs that you may be stepping into the fifth dimension. The fifth dimension is also heaven on earth. But my suggestion is don't rush the process, okay? Take the time to be whatever you want to be. Take the time to do things at your own pace. Don't be attached to the 5D, okay? Because I've seen this in my own journey that I had my spiritual ego. And sometimes, trust me, I still do have my spiritual ego. And sometimes I'm attached to 
that good feeling. Sometimes I'm attached to that higher state of consciousness. But you know, when you are getting the spiritual maturity, it's like you also want to integrate the 3D. You also want to integrate the material realm. You also want to integrate your ego. You know, you also need to ground yourself. Okay. So when you have the spiritual maturity, it's like you want to be human again. It's not so much about, uh, you know, Mm, okay, I'm 5D and I'm the best. I'm 5D, I'm superior. No, it's not about that. It's more likely about attuning your consciousness into a grounded state where you actually help the world expand authentically. Okay? Because, you know, when you have that, uh, when you're going through a massive shift of consciousness spiritually, it's like you may get the spiritual ego. Okay, you want to prove a point. I have done this in my own journey and I'm realizing that it wasn't healthy. But you know, you can actually begin to learn from anything because every single moment is a lesson. Every single uh, experience is a lesson. You can learn from anything. My suggestion is have the spiritual maturity to let go and just be yourself. Okay, you guys, so this was today's message about the five signs that you may be stepping into the new earth and the fifth dimensional level of consciousness. Be yourself. And if you resonate with this message, very good. And I see that so many people are not resonating with the spiritual message. That is also to be accepted because not everybody is on the same vibration. And that is actually an okay thing, okay? So if you don't resonate with this message, that is also okay. Namaste to you. I love you. I appreciate you. Go ahead and do your thing. But if you are resonating with this message, that's also good for you because you are becoming aware of the is spiritual evolution okay you are becoming aware of the spiritual concepts you are becoming aware of um, higher states of consciousness you are becoming aware of true love of true power guys thanks so much for watching and this was today's message about signs that you are stepping into the fifth dimensional level of consciousness see you on what is coming up next and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you're new to the youtube channel and if you really want to step into your own spiritual mission if you really want to step into your own spiritual nature and if you want to work with me at a one-on-one -on -one level feel free to contact me at my facebook address in the description below the new earth is already here and in a way everybody is going through a spiritual awakening some know it some don't but when we are really sending these messages out there and when we are really planting seeds we realize that we're actually one energy one consciousness and everybody in the end will awaken into a new state guys thanks so much for watching and like always see you on what's coming up next have a beautiful day have a blessed day blessed day and my soul sees you as one i love you so much much peace and see you on what's coming up next bye bye